Man, what's good? It's your boy WK, aka the Black Harry Potter, coming at you with another video, man. I just want to say thank you all for the continued support, all my new subs, all the comments and likes I've been getting. I appreciate you, man. We got another one coming to you about Duke basketball. Before I get started, though, I want to say subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like Duke basketball, if you like college basketball, March Madness, drop a like in the comment. Let me know what your opinion is about this. We're about to go crazy again. WK, go! Now, we all know that Duke was the favorite to win the national championship at the beginning of the year. Everyone was predicting it. We were saying they might go undefeated after that first game against Kentucky. Because look at the talent they have on the team. I mean, four McDonald's All-Americans. Four? That's insane. And, you know, even me, I predicted they were going to lose. But just go look back at my videos, you know, a few months ago and you'll see that. But regardless, it doesn't even matter. We're not even talking about that. We're here to talk about what comes next. Now, we know RJ and Zion, they gone. They're gone. But that's not how it was at the beginning of the year. It wasn't just RJ and Zion. The beginning of the year, you had RJ at one, Zion at two, Cam Reddish at three, and then Trey Jones was gonna go somewhere in like the late teens to early 20s type of thing. But he was gonna be a first round pick. But here we are at the end of the season, and I really do not think that's how this draft should go. I legitimately believe Trey Jones and Cam Reddish should go back to Duke for another year. And I'm going to lay out the reasons right now. Please tell me if you disagree, but I do not think these two are ready for the NBA. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's first talk about Trey Jones. Now, I don't want to get this twisted. Trey Jones is a phenomenal point guard. He did his thing for Duke this year. He's an excellent, excellent on-ball defender. In terms of running an offense, he's great. In terms of getting to his mid-range pull-up, his floater game, he's great. He was one of the best in college basketball this season and he showed some promise. But there's a huge problem and it's something that he's going to have to rectify before he gets to the NBA. The dude could not hit a three if he needed to save his life. He really got exposed in the NCAA tournament and teams were just allowing him to launch threes because he couldn't hit them. He can't make a shot. And in terms of being a short point guard, you have to be able to shoot to be effective. Look at, look at Trey Young. Everybody was saying Trey Young wasn't going to be that great. But you know why he's great? Because in addition to being a crafty ball handler and a great passer, he can hit the three. He stretches defense and puts pressure on them. Only time you can be a point guard who can't shoot is like Ben Simmons. Lonzo is okay, but he still needs to work on his shot. But you got to be able to do other things, which Trey Jones is not going to be able to get in the teeth of defenses and really make stuff happen. He can do that, but the only way he can do that is if they're not sagging off of him, letting him shoot. The reason why Trey Young is getting into defenses and getting his float or getting his layups is because they have to pressure him to keep him from shooting long threes. Trey Jones will not be effective. I think he should return to Duke, stay under Coach K's tutelage for another year, really work on his shot, get in the gym this summer, get with some professional shooting coaches that can help you out. And then maybe next year, this time comes around, you'll be ready for the NBA. But I do not think he should forgo his college career to go to the NBA right now, because I do think he will fade and he will not turn out very well. His brother is doing pretty well right now. He's a good role player, but he can shoot. Tyus Jones can shoot. Trey Jones cannot, and that's going to be a problem. Let me know what you think, because I do not think Trey Jones is ready. Tell me if you saw something different, maybe I'm missing something. I'd love to talk about it. Now, let's get into Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish is a different story because everything on paper with him looks fantastic. 6'8", big guy, over 200 pounds. I don't know his exact weight, but he's over 200 pounds. And he can shoot. He's a shooter. 6'8", can shoot. Athletic tools, that's an NBA player off the rip. But he just doesn't, you know what I mean when I say he just doesn't have it? Right now, the man just doesn't have it. I mean, he sometimes will just be a complete non-factor in games. I mean, there are games where he'll have three points, five, six, and he's playing 30 minutes a night. And that can't happen. That's part of the reason why they lost in the tournament. Cam Reddish had eight points shooting two for eight from the field. It might have honestly been six points, but he shot two for eight from the field. He did not have a good game. And it's not about him just missing shots, but he's just a non-factor sometimes. I just don't think he has it. I don't think he's ready. I know he has all the potential in the world. Cam Reddish could go on to be an NBA star, an all-star, maybe even a superstar franchise player, but he doesn't have it right now. And the problem is I know in the NBA, they usually draft off potential. They draft off of what you can be one day. But when they didn't show it to you in college, when you draft off potential, it can be a very dangerous situation. Let me give you the example of somebody who played in my hometown. Scala Bissier is from Memphis. He went on to play at Kentucky. His freshman season at Kentucky was terrible. He couldn't score really well. He was getting 
fouling out of games, like three fouls in the first half. He just wasn't doing well. Calipari had to invite this man over for a sleepover at his house to break down film all night to just try to get in his head and make him feel more comfortable. Did not really do anything. Didn't play well in the NCAA tournament. But he got drafted first round off potential. Let me ask you, do you know who Scalabissier is? Because I know who he is because of where he's from. But you don't hear anything about him because he's just not a great player. And I think another year under a great coach and Coach Calipari would have helped him develop. He would have had another year playing against college competition and he would have kind of seen what he needed to do to get to that next level. And the thing is, this isn't unheard of. Miles Bridges went back for a second year at Michigan State. Miles Bridges would have been a lottery pick if he had gone to the NBA after his first year. But he reflected and said, I'm not ready. Cam Reddish is not ready. And there's still a little fishy circumstances around how he just decided in the Sweet 16 he couldn't play. I just don't think he's there mentally. Everything about him tells me he is not mentally ready to deal with the NBA. He should come back to college for another year. I know this one may be a little bit more split down the middle than Trey Jones, but I'm telling you, he will benefit from another year under Coach K. He is not on Zion's level. He is not on RJ's level. We thought he was a top five pick. He might still be off of potential. But if I'm Cam Reddish, I'm thinking about coming back for another year. You know, I won't say that because if I'm Cam Reddish, I'm taking that bread. But <laughs> somebody else... Coach K, somebody should sit down and tell him, like, look, the NBA is not going anywhere. I think you'll benefit from another year. So, yeah, man, that's my opinion on it. RJ and Zion, that's one and two picks in the draft. Maybe John Morant will be number two. Zion's one, John Morant, and RJ. Those are the top three picks in this draft. No question. Cam Reddish and Trey Jones, they should return for another year. Get better. Maybe have another run at a national championship. You didn't get it done this year. Maybe go get it done next year. But I just do not think they're ready to go out there with the big boys. We'll see, man. But anyway, man, like, comment, subscribe on this video. If I gave you something that you didn't know before or I said something you liked, please drop a like as it helps support the channel. Comment. Let me know what you think about these two players. Let me know if you had Duke winning. Did Duke brush your bracket or no? Because I had Kentucky winning, but they also lost. Let down of a day for me. But anyway, man, like, comment, subscribe like I just said. I'll be back next time.